Hey guys, Dragon here from MuseShop.net and today we're talking about one of the coolest Muse widgets you've ever used. The 3D parallax backgrounds for Muse Responsive. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, take a look what happens when I use my mouse. Awesome, right? These are multi-layered parallax backgrounds for your Muse websites. Let me change the demo. This awesome widget lets you create depth in your Muse website backgrounds. And with a couple of clicks, it lets you turn your website into an awesome 3D experience. So, let's see how the widget works. The best place to start is to open our Muse template file for this widget. And here you already have some default images loaded. If we preview, the effect is already set up for you. So let's see how it works. When you open the widget settings, as you can see, you have six layers of images available, starting from background, and then you can add images that will appear closer and closer to the viewer. And you also have some advanced options for image movements, which will help you create a better looking 3D effect for your images. These advanced options are already set up for kind of a standard 3D effect, but you can play around and create your own 3D parallax backgrounds and fine tune this effect over here by using the advanced options. Now, what this widget does is layers one image on top of the other and lets them move with different speeds and react to your mouse movement, hence creating the 3D effect. And what you need to create that effect is a background image and at least one more image for your object that will move around the canvas. As you can see, we have all six image layers filled up with different images. Now I'm going to show you those images one by one. Here I have the original image and the six images created for the 3D parallax effect. This is the original image we used. And first we created this background. Then on top of that, we've added this kind of a laptop. This over here that looks black is actually transparent. Then we've added this laptop with a piece of the table. On top of that, we've added two phones with another kind of piece of the table and then another phone that's our fourth layer then we've added like a piece of the table that's the closest to the viewer and then we've added a darken optional layer it's actually a, a black color that's a bit transparent so you could add some text over it without the text conflicting with the images below now i'm going to compile these images in illustrator so you can see what was our aim when creating this image. I've dragged all six images into Illustrator and let me show you the background first. And I'll turn on the visibility for the other layers one by one. Here we have that laptop, then we have the phones, then another phone, then we have this kind of a table foreground and finally the darkening effect. You don't have to do the process the same way we did. You can freely create any other effect you want. You can check out our live demos. And basically the point is to create a background layer and then add more image layers for your objects that will be moving. Let's go back to Muse now. And here you can see that we loaded our layers one by one, starting from the background and moving closer. And then in advanced options, you have image movement options. The lower the number over here means that the image will move less. And the higher the number, image will move more around the canvas. So the effect is very sensitive and you can set it from 0 to 0.42, which will make the effect move as much as possible. And then you have the easing effect. You can add some easing to when you stop moving your mouse. You can add some additional time until the images actually stop moving, where 0 gives the image's maximum effect and one has no effect. And finally, you can inverse the image movement. If you've ever played a first person shooting video game, you know what this means. By default, it's set to yes and it gives you an effect that images are actually moving away from your mouse. 
but if we set that to no, the images will follow our mouse movement. Let me show that to you as well. Now the images are following my mouse, as you can see. So if you've used our Muse template, all you need to do is actually insert the images. The best resolution is Full HD. The widget is of course responsive, but the best way to, to use it is to give it a center pin and to turn off the responsiveness and give it a dedicated size for each of your breakpoints. If you're using our default Muse template, you can use the widget like this and with Muse CC 2017 you can click on these icons and drag the widget to the edge and release it, which will create these breakpoints that we use. Or if you create a 1920 pixels wide breakpoint and drag the widget in like this, it will create automatically these other breakpoints for you. And of course, once you've done editing the widget from our Muse template file, you can copy it and paste it anywhere else you like. So have fun creating 3D parallax backgrounds and be sure to send us your examples.